Welcome back to News 3 today. When I say the words bananas foster, the first thing that probably comes to mind as it did with me is a delectable <laughs> dessert. Well, when it comes to families and children across the coastal empire, the Savannah Bananas are hoping it becomes synonymous with a new program created to bring the two together. Jolie Chabala is the program coordinator for Bananas Foster, the team's official 501c3 nonprofit, and she joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> thank you. And first off, I want to say thank you for all that you do <laughs> because we were talking during the break and you are actually a CASA. I am. I'm a volunteer in this community. So it's great because I get to see firsthand the struggles and also get to know families who and see their struggles. And in my head, I'm trying to think of ways that we can spin it and put some joy into their life and, and give back. So it's my way of giving back. And of course, CASA is court appointed special advocates, people yes. who advocate for children in the foster care system yeah. who go through the court system. Now, currently, when we think of the numbers, nearly 400,000 children in foster care yeah. uh, are in foster care in the United States, 11,000 here in the state. So this brings to mind the very importance of what you do. Absolutely. So the reason it all started is because Emily and Jesse, the owners of the Bananas, mm -hmm. are a foster family themselves. So they see firsthand what this community faces and the trials and the beautiful moments, but also the really hard and the sad moments as well. So when they decided that they wanted to really get involved in the community with the Bananas, it was a no-brainer to do something based around foster care. And it just happens to be the perfect name for it, Bananas Foster. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. And so now, as the official 501c3, we're just putting all of our time and energy and platform into the foster care community. And this is not just a local thing. This is something that you're doing all across the country. Yeah, so our games in Indianapolis and Akron about two weeks ago mm -hmm. were the first time that we took it nationally, you mm -hmm. know, in, in a different state other than Savannah. We, of course, want Bananas Foster to be a local organization and to really focus on creating a wait list of foster families here in Chatham County and in Savannah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're only going to celebrate families that are here and locally here. We want to celebrate families nationwide. Now, this program is brand, brand new because you brand just new. made the announcement <laughs> last month right across the street in Grayson Stadium. Yes. So we had our first family celebrated on the field. They had nine kids in care. What an incredible family to really launch this behind and, and you know, bring that to light. And so after that, we have been celebrating a family, one family per game. It's a program called Go Bananas on Game Day, mm -hmm. where we give them a behind the scenes look at the organization, but also VIB tickets, very important bananas. <laughs> and they get a, a experience like no other, but they also get to be celebrated on the field and recognized in front of thousands of people what they do for the foster care community. And, and our hope is that one fan or one family in the crowd can see what they do and say, I can do that. Yeah. You know, we can be a licensed family. Yeah. And eventually the wait list that we have for bananas tickets are now a wait list for foster families. And that's a good thing. That's, yeah. a, that's a good thing. Um, okay, so let's talk about how the community can get involved. You have some pointers for people if they want to get involved with this program and we have the information up on a full screen right now. Um, one is to become a foster family. Absolutely. So the, the biggest ask mm -hmm. is to donate yourself, right? And become a foster family. The next ask, you know, as a 501c3 and to keep our programs going and support other nonprofits is to donate financially. Um, you know, that tax deductible donation is, is something sometimes a corporation can give. So obviously donating financially, but then there are a lot of needs for foster families. So providing any supplies to them right now, school is right behind, mm -hmm. you know, coming up right at the end of summer. So donating any school supplies to foster families you know of, but then also volunteering your time. And so becoming a CASA or volunteering at local shelters and local nonprofits that are based around foster care. So that's how we ask people is to just donate one of the four things, your time, your finances, your goods, or your time. All right, and, and Jolie, yourself. we need to go, but before we do, yeah. how can folks get in touch with you? 
Yes, so please get in touch uh, via our website, bananasfoster.org. You can also get in touch with us on our social media as well. So, you know, DM us, <laughs> reach out, um, but definitely on our website, bananasfoster.org. All right, thank you so much for joining us yes, today. Thank you.